Hello friends and welcome you all back to the channel. Happy to see you all once again in another Clash of Titans video. So today's video is going to be the Elondor gameplay as you all been asking for and I will share you some tips and tricks on his combos and a little change in the build. So this is the build I used for him in this uh, game. So I just tried this build but this build came to be yes, very useful I, I mean very good. And uh, now let's get right into the video. So friends, basically uh, Elendor is one of the most strongest uh, marksmen in the game. So he can easily dodge the enemies and can he also deal a lot of damage. So I'm using him in the jungle. So Elendor jungle is more efficient than in lane but uh, recent uh, changes to him uh, proven that he is also good in the lanes too so let us try first in the jungle and then after uh, i will upload a video with elandor in the laning phase so you can use this s1 to uh, dash to the enemies you can use your s2 to deal a lot of damage uh, so i have created a tutorial video for him in the past i think two three days before right like so so if you want to learn about him more then you can check it out uh, i will give the link in the description for that so for the jungle first we have to get the both buffs and uh, have to clear both the sides so about his abilities and combos i will explain you uh, during the game so first uh, my teammates are just invading the jungle and uh, got the first blood and now the enemies are chasing them because they got angry so like, we also can join them because uh, we got the blue book i mean red book already so there is no time to waste so we can go there and we got a double kill and still astrid and then is in our uh, area so we can try to kill them so we got a kill the then and astrid just escaped and here uh, Kira just uh, overextended without her abilities so like in the early games her cooldown will be very low so this is the bad thing to do with the mages so you shouldn't overextend and here it is a perfect time that he reached the top lane and uh, the dark player just respawned and so we can attack it and try to get it uh, so Arthur is giving gaining some vision on us so he can call the team to attack us so let's see about his combos guys now so first of all uh, use your s1 to reach the i mean reach your opponents and uh, make a double hit so like the first hit will deal 100% damage and the second hit will deal 33% damage so it is an additional damage basically so the after that use your second ability to deal uh, the area damage to all the enemies who are nearby and then uh, if it is needed use your ult otherwise you don't uh, you shouldn't use your ult because it will be useful later on uh, while the enemies jumps on you if you are fighting multiple enemies make sure to uh, i mean make sure not to stand in a single place while fighting so unlike other marksmen uh, elandar can be killed easily when when he is uh, standing in the same area uh, so you should use your abilities efficiently to make the additional damages and also use your uh, control abilities to take care of the enemies. Here I used my S2, S1 and also you need uh, to know the timing of your abilities. So if you spawn the butterfly then you should know when it will uh, go back, I mean it will vanish, uh, stuff like that. So if you don't know that then you will be pretty much dead if you fight without knowing the timing of the abilities. So it is like uh, 3 minutes into the game and we already got the 7 kills. So uh, we made a legendary. So after, uh, I mean after this dying is very bad. So if I die uh, the enemies will get like around 700 gold and it is like a very good feast for them and uh, first i bought the war boots because of uh, the extra uh, what was that attack speed 
so for that uh, it will be very good and uh, this is the thing i got for the war boots so i uh, i it was a little painful like then is a support and he killed me with uh, killed me very easily not uh, with any taking some risks or something like that he killed me very easily so i just changed my shoes to the op gilded greaves and uh, gilded greaves is also a trash because the silencing abilities uh, it's like so much painful for me and now my teammates are fighting in the mid lane and i just got my red buff and uh, trying to go the go and fight with them so here you can see the perfect uh, assassination so here i used my s1 to jump in use my s2 to deal damage and kill the enemy and return back before my s1 goes to cooldown so this is the timing i am talking about guys so this is how you have to play so you should uh, maintain the timings uh, i mean you should know the timings of your abilities going into cooldown So if you forget or like if you miss any one of that, then the enemies will kill you. So here I was trying to attack the slayer and also uh, trying to poke the Arthur. So this is not a good thing to do when you are like fighting an epic monster. It will turn out to be bad in some cases. So now my teammates are like my team is uh, having like. incredibly high gold so we can just uh, go in and poke the enemies see this is uh, what i am saying so i have uh, just de- hit Ar- arthur like 3 uh, 4 times but his uh, quarter of his hp is gone and veera just used his uh, used her uh, s2 but i used my s1 before it went to cooldown so i just escaped barely and here arthur and uh, violet is there so i just used my ultimate to escape uh, instead of fighting them so if the enemies are closer to you then you can try to use your ultimate to push them away so here the scenario is they are like uh, too far away from me so i can't push them with my ultimate because they are they are not inside my range ultimate range so i just uh, altered on the opposite side so that i could escape from them so elandor is teleportation skills are like off the charts so he can teleport wherever he needs with his butterflies and uh, perfect abilities uh, so you have to use your abilities perfectly to go anywhere you want and you uh, the main thing is dodging so you have to dodge all our the enemies and uh, he can take care of himself like most of the marksmen need a babysitter like a support or tank right but elandor doesn't need someone like that also elandor is the strong one of the strongest and uh, he is a very fun hero to play if the enemy tries to chase you and kill you then you can outplay them with your uh, abilities like it is so uh, very cool guys if the enemy chases you and uh, instead uh, they will die and it will be like so cool and the enemy will get raged and uh, after that four or five five people will jump on you and kill you and <laughs> that is also so so okay that is not very great and but uh, in some ways it will be good so this is uh, again i used that same combo did you see that guys i used my s1 went in used my s2 deal damage and uh, finished off with my uh, normal attacks and uh, did everything so here uh, she was out of my range so i used my ultimate to get near her and the match ended because they gave uh, the enemies right uh, i mean they negotiated for a surrender they surrendered the match okay so uh, normally basically everything so elandor is the strongest marksman now uh, up to me so you can maybe you think that hayate and uh, other marksmen are good too but i like uh, elandor more than any of them so elandor is a very fun hero to play just try try him out guys see you all in the next video friends don't forget to hit the like button subscribe and share it with your friends see you all in the next video until then bye bye and have a great day bye bye friends